Hi, I have next to me here a single satellite dish setup to be able to pick up both the SAIRSAT Irish um, free to air satellite channels and also the FreeSat channels of the Astra 2 satellite. So you can see the, the setup here and what are the key components of it? Well, the first thing we, we note here is we have an 80 centimeter dish. Uh, next, we'll, we'll say on the center of this, this single LMB here, uh, this LMB here is a, a, a K band LMB and we're using this to pick up off the Eutelsat uh, satellite at 9 degrees east. And over here we just have a standard LNB. Uh, and this is picking up off of uh, the Astra 2 satellite at 28 degrees east. Now what we have in between is this offset arm here, a multi LMB holder. And what we did uh, when we're doing the setup on this is we came along and we have on our S10 satellite meter, we've added on an extra transponder and the steps to do this are listed on the tvtrade.ie website, specifically listing the frequencies that we would use for picking up the um, Utilsat, uh, the SARESAT uh, transponder on it. And basically the key point is the frequency is 10765, uh, the symbol rate is 2500, the polarity is a vertical, and the error correction rate on it is uh, one slash two, okay? So when I'm actually going to do this, what, the first thing we do, need to do is when we're setting the angle of the dish, we set the, uh, the angle needs to be at about 27 and a half degrees. Uh, direction we need to be pointing uh, is at about 164 degrees. Uh, so it's just a little bit uh, east of due south. And what we're, we're essentially focused on is we, we when I was aligning this, I set it up on this carband LMB initially, and once I had that set up, only then did I, I worry about uh, setting up the, um, the the Astra 2 satellite. And the reason for this is it's a lot easier to pick up Astra 2 than the other one. And this is generally the way you'd approach these problems. The more difficult uh, and sensitive the LMB se uh, settings, you put that at a, at a more or less central location and try to add it on afterwards. Um, so uh, that's it now. So when we run the two cables out of here, we run them into the following, which is this Dizek switch we can see here. So basically, we feed, feed a single LMB in on one side, the other LMB into the LMB2 input, and then what we have is a single cable we feed down to a satellite receiver. Now the key point about the satellite receiver we'll be using is that it needs to be a DVB S2. Okay, so a high definition receiver. So an example that we'd stock on tvtrade.ie would be something like the Zorro 8530. But you know, there's a whole range of high definition receivers out there that can handle this. So the great advantage of this service, of course, is that now instead of having to use a satellite dish and a TV aerial uh, to get the Irish and the free UK channels, we can pick them all up on a, on a single satellite dish. The big disadvantage currently, and I'm speaking here in um, March of 2012, is that the number of Irish channels that are available on the service is still relatively limited. We have BBC, or we have RT1 and 2, uh, the news channels, RT Plus 1 and RT Junior, but really this will become a very, very popular uh, system when the additional channels become available on it, such as TV3 and TG Car, which hopefully will happen over a period of time.